Assalamu alaikum. I am Mahira Maksud and today we will discuss the factors affecting diffusion process. So let me share with you the learning outcome. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to use the particle model of matter to explain diffusion and investigate the factors that affect the rate of diffusion. So to begin my lesson, I would like to ask three questions. What is diffusion? How does diffusion work? And what affects diffusion? Diffusion is a gradual movement of uh, solid particles from an area of a high concentration to an area of a low concentration. The movement of a solute particles continues until the concentration reaches an equilibrium. Now let me share with you definition of a equilibrium. Its mean is a state in which a balance has been reached and things have become balanced. An equal distribution of a solute particles within the solvent. Equilibrium comes from the root word equal. Now let's share with the steps in a diffusion process. At first, there is a high concentration gradient, which causes the particles to gradually mix and move from the area of a high concentration to an area of a low concentration. Look at the picture in which the particles continues to move and mix until they are evenly dispersed throughout the container. Now, big idea comes to my mind. Diffusion is a gradual movement of solute particles from an area of a high concentration to an area of a low concentration. Please pay attention to the diffusion process diagram. Now, let's have a demo time. Let's look at diffusion demo and relate it to the particle model of matter. We will diffuse potassium permanganate into a water solution and time how long it takes to diffuse. As you watch these demo take place, make a note of what is happening visually as well as what you think is occurring to the particles in the solution. Potassium permanganate molecules mix with the water molecules. The purple color slowly spreads throughout the water. This is diffusion. The three factors affecting diffusions are firstly, size of pieces, heat and stirring. By having smaller pieces of solute, it allows for a larger area for the solvent particles to interact and mix with. The more mixing of particles means the substance reaches equilibrium faster. By increasing the heat energy of the solution, the particles within the solution to mix faster. This causes the solute to spread out, reach equilibrium, more quickly within the solvent. Stirring. By stirring the solution, you can cause the particles of solute and solvent to mix faster and reach equilibrium much quicker. Now, to judge your understanding, you need to find out some facts about the diffusion of CSE 1000 effervescent tablets in water. Firstly, we'll use whole tablet, then tablet divided into quarters, and lastly, tablets crushed in a powder form. You will record the recording of uh, your video and your finding and share it on the Google Classroom. I hope you liked the lesson. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.